Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 2 another comparison video once again this is another comparison of my at games mega drive hd compared to my uh sega my uh why am i pausing <laughs> my sega mega drive mini i wanted to do this one because um well basically this is the one that i've seen on videos that people have said uh the emulation kind of mucks up ruins the most and considering i really didn't have that much of a problem the other day when i played the original sonic game and compared it i thought i would give this a go a couple of things though i want to talk about that were mentioned in the previous video one yes this at games mega drive that i have is 2017 maybe 2018 i am aware um now that people mentioned it in the comment section of that video that there is a 20 i think it's 2019 one by at games that has an sd card slot as well as a cartridge uh you know slot and apparently once you update the firmware because i think is that what it's for the sd card slot once you update the firmware apparently it fixes all the audio issues and all the emulation issues and i watched a couple of videos on it and apparently it plays well i say apparently i saw someone playing sonic cd on it and they mentioned but they never said or never showed that it would play 32x if that's a thing please let me know because if that is true i have to have it just because i want to play 32x games and if it's right then yeah like i said i'm gonna go out my way to buy it i think it's discontinued and it does sound the fact that they put an sd card on it and so you can add your own roms kind of knowing that um Stake you're going to hand over, you know, the the rights to, well, not the rights, the emulation, basically, uh, of um, their software to M2. It seems to strike me as kind of a fuck you, Sega moment by At Games. But by all means, if you have that one, correct me down below. The other thing is, uh, and someone mentioned this, and they had a really, really valid point, which is why you know mess around with these kind of knockoff systems uh simple as i said because this one's region free and i paid 25 pounds for it so i was curious but the thing is you gotta remember from people who may not be diehard gamers but had a mega drive back in the day and want to experience it again that's why the mini is absolutely perfect but if they want to be able to play games on it and not go the route of the original hardware because you've got to remember um connecting it up to a, a modern tv isn't that straightforward these days even if it's running on rgb because my gaming tv is 10 years old and has an rgb socket but i have loads of mates whose systems don't have an rgb socket and yes there may be ways around that which is get it converted itself to hd out or get one of those switcher boxes or stuff like that but some people just want to plug it straight in no hassle and stuff like that so that's why i can see why people would go the route of at games maybe because of the cartridge slot even go over the, the route of at games over the mega drive mini and i'm talking about the model that I picked up that I'm playing now which is the 2017 revision but they're all interesting ports point ports are all interesting points so anyway let's get into it please join over Sonic the Hedgehog 2 it was hyped the tits off and obviously it's got Miles Tails what's his name why don't they just give him one name Tails I remember all the magazines covering this back in the day and everyone losing their shit over it and obviously when it came out it was huge improves upon everything of the original game however as i said in my previous one i played sonic one game maybe because sonic one was so kind of a big deal and new at the time i also prefer not ranking sonic cd because i didn't have my own mega cd but i was ranked up as three then one then this but don't get me wrong i can see you know how technically excellent and competent this game is so anyway let's kick into it this is a game that's actually on the, um, the system I might do some games that I have on cartridge and compare them to the Mega Drive Mini when they obviously I'll have them on cartridge on the app games but they'll be on my Mega Drive Mini mainly because I like doing these comparison videos and I like my Mega Drive Mini and I don't hate this app games thing um, not including the 2019 one it's the least offensive of the previous app games ones because stuff before this was appalling anyway I bored the tits off you let's get into it Helps if I press the right button. Scan lines are obviously off because while they look nice in ooh, while they look nice in person, there is miles power. Um, they do not well do not compress well um, in YouTube land. 
one player, two player verse. So that's split screen. That was kind of cool. Um, which is that? That's a demo. But one player, you don't control. What's his name? Obviously, look at this. It's you know obviously quite simplified and stuff like that. But then you got to remember the pace that it runs at. That's quite impressive. And obviously um, a big departure from the first game. Right. Anyway, let's go. Proud power. I can't read his surname. I don't care. I wasn't really a fan of him. There we go. Everyone heals zone. Same presentation. Right. We got the spin proper. When I say spin dash, I meant like when in the previous game, just pressing down. But oh, that feels a bit choppy, doesn't it? I mean, the music doesn't sound terrible. The frame rate, it's dropping frames all over the shop. Even I can see that. Yay! It's not unplayable. Balls! Fish balls! See what I did there? Yeah, it's not unplayable. But I can clearly see it's dropping frames like a mofo and the music's off yoink oh, i'm going this way oh, i got cramp in my foot that's got absolutely nothing to do with this game or this gameplay but i just thought i'd put it out there because i don't want to stop yoink yeah that not ruining it, but I can see it. I can certainly see it. I don't know if I'd be as harsh on it. I mean, I've only done the first stage. I'd be as harsh on it as some of the reviews I've seen of people uh, of, you know, Sonic on this at Games Machine. I don't think it's certainly as bad as previous ones. Like, that, remember on that handheld one? God, that thing's awful. I played my mates. That thing really is awful. Right now. Is this, I forget which one, the difference in the controls between 1, 2, 3 and Sega, Sega CD? Sonic CD. I'm not going to say Sega CD, it's the Mega CD because I'm on glaze. I see they've got a Woody for uh... Hey! Oh, he's got the weird flip, hasn't he, when he goes on it? Yeah. He's got a Woody for loops in this one. Oh, you bastard! Screw it, I'm not getting the rings. Ooh. Yeah, I can see it. Well, should that be visible all the time? It's tearing and dropping, yeah. Can't wait to see it now. Oh, that's sexy. Oh, on the Mega Drive Mini, you see how that compares. Is it a boss already? What, two stages? I can't remember how you beat this one. Not like that. Coming back. Multiple bounces. Do something then, you stupid fox. He's so scared, you know. The hounds aren't coming after him. Wheels as well. Balls. That's not the way to do it, Dave. There we go. Is he still in there? Of course he's still in there. Yeah. Or is he just pissing off? Coward. Come back! Shake harder, boy! Run, my jungle friends! No one got the quote in the last one. Come to me, jungle friends. Oh. We've got Sonic putting off his tood. Dude, I just rescued everyone. Put your tood away. Chemical plant zone. Really? Only two levels? It's been ages and ages and ages since I've played this, that's why. I'd be interested to see someone who hasn't played Sonic since back in the day and has an art games, not the one that, you know, I talked about the upgraded one, you know, what they think of it and would they be fine with it. I can't hear it in the music. I know, I'm snob. Oh, I've got to get on that. Alright, don't go down. Thank you. 
Sega Mega Drive Mini. Well, here we are on my Sega Mega Drive Mini, and let's take a look at Sonic 2. Uh, this time, I'm obviously in the uh, the English menu screen, not the Japanese one. You know, I thought I'd mix it up a bit, but once again, it's a lovely place to be. Boom! Like Sonic Year 92. Only a year afterwards, well, when your heart, your heart. I have to say, at this point, I was focusing more on my Super Famicom than I was on my Mega Drive. I mean, I did have this, but hey, sacrilege, I know. Let's get into it. Boom. Hello. Thank you. Obviously, again, scan lines turned off. Sonic in blah, 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 blah. He who we really not care for. Unless you love him, I don't know, maybe you do. Boom. Emerald Hill Zone 1. Okay, well, I can hear the difference in the music immediately. And... It's running. It is. Do you know what? Maybe, I don't know. Um... Maybe, because, is this game faster? I would have thought it was faster than the Sonic one. Does that make it, you know, more difficult to emulate or something? Because, yeah, this this is running, you know, fantastic. Now when playing this, I can see, I mean, I noticed it, you know, first time around, but, yeah, it was not running very well, was it? I love that. I want to go super fast. Did I get it? Oh, yeah, music's gone up. No, I want to go up. Sure. Ah! Ha ha! Point to the quote. Woo! It is speedy, 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 isn't it? Wow. I mean, that's one complaint. I mean, that's nothing to do with comparison, but this is running fine. The people have... Um, they, some people don't like fast platform games because it, you can argue, well, they argue, I mean, it's a... I guess they have to do it to stand out from Mario, that it removes some of the skill level because if you are running absolute flat, flat out to do speed runs, then just how much can you see? I kind of like it though. Oh. Yoink! This is running tasty and delicious. I like this. I like it a lot. Points for that quote. I say it all the time, but I don't know if I've ever said points for that quote. So points for that quote. 
extra life. Yeah, this is running absolutely. I mean, if you're worried about you know the emulation on the Mega Drive Mini, this would have been a good route to go, wouldn't it? I'm not like I said, not the new or the the, 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 the subsequent act games after this machine, which you can update. Which, like I said, if you can play 32x games on it, well, the fact that it's got it's Sega CD, it's Mega CD, I'm English on it means I really, really do want to give it a go. But, it's discontinued, isn't it? Which means it's probably going to put up prices, especially if you can make it run tasty and delicious. Sorry, I'm waffling. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is, on the, the art games I've got, and, you know, uh, the earlier ones, that, play that and then play this, and then you can safely say that M2 did a bang up job. That's another reason I like doing these comparison videos, even if I'm comparing it to the art games I have, which is not, is it just an excuse? to show off, um, you know, how good the emulation on this is, but it's also just an excuse to show off Mega Drive Mini, because honestly, I am really, really enjoying it. It is my favourite Mini to date. The only Mini I prefer more is my actual car. See what I did there? So, is it Dr. Eggman in this one? And it's a Japanese one, it's called Dr. Robotnik. When do they change it? I get all confused on that. Because obviously, you know, me and my Japanese Mega Drive days and stuff. Get some of that in your life. You know, all that money and all this equipment, and yet you can't do a hedgehog. You're like Dick Dastardly, seriously. Did you never watch Wacky Races, mate? Oh! Is that because I took us a long time to destroy him? Why has he done that? I don't remember that. Looks like he's in G.I. Joe toy now. Bye. Why don't you come back and tilt your rotors down to the floor and blend me? Come to me, my jungle friend. Etc. 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 Points to the quote. I'm gonna keep saying that. It's funny though. I'll say about the Act Games one. Um, obviously, Sonic and Knuckles isn't on the Mega Drive Mini, and you gotta remember the Act Games one is licensed, but it's got um. Yeah, it's got Sonic Knuckles on it. Has it got Sonic 3? But even if they had to license it, is that the Michael Jackson thing? I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's not an old wives' tale. But maybe it is. One other thing I have noticed on this is... Uh, I know something there is no Sonic game when I did the gameplay, but I forgot to mention it. Is how, um... How much better the colours are. You son bitch! They seem a bit washed out on the app games thing. Like I said, it's the least offensive at games thing, and I don't hate it, I quite like mine. I mean, I've got a Japanese, this isn't show and tell, but, you know, just like to point out. I've got a Japanese Mega Drive, I've got Genesis, I've got a Model 2 PAL, I've got a Model 1 PAL, um, and I've got a Raspberry Pi Mega Drive. Just go to the end, Tails, and press the button. That's all you really got to do if you can fly. Stop, you know, showing off and rubbishing me and make my face, because I may be quick, but let's be honest. Oh, fuck, Nuggets. Let's be honest, I'd rather have the gift of flight. Gonna put me right back at the beginning, did I go? Yeah, didn't go for a thingy, did I? That's right, they're called thingies. Oh, there's nothing up there. The colours are definitely better. It's, it's not dropping frames. Oh, fuckers! I just looked out, haven't I? No, I don't. I don't know. Yeah. It's not dropping frames. The colour's better. And the music's perfect. There is. This is far more noticeable than. Oh, balls. No, not balls. Than the uh, Sonic 1. I don't know. Like I said, is it more intensive? Run! That's my new plan for dealing with them. I'm not sure why I panicked like that. Run for it! Okay. Alright, that's cool. That's very cool. Sexy! Yay! I'm a Dyson! That's cool as well. Absolutely phenomenal balls. See what I did there? Yoink! Well, there you go. To sum up, doesn't uh, drop frames at all. Looks better. From, you probably won't notice that from the way I capture it, but looks better when it comes to colour. The music's perfect. 
I'm going to carry on doing this. Am I doing them? Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.